Hey everybody, it's Trevor. Um, happy Monday. Happy Thanksgiving week. Uh, it is getting cold here in Maine. We don't have the snow like my buddy Mike Reilly in Buffalo, but uh, it's getting chilly. So the wood stove is fired up. I always love that. Um, just sitting by the wood stove, there's nothing like it. So my book, Open Heart, Warrior Spirit, A Man's Guide to Living with Cancer, comes out in two weeks. Yikes. Um, really excited to share it with you. So today, this is my third installment of Walks with Grace, the dog. Where is she? Grace, come get a treat. Oh, good girl. Oh, okay. Um, so on the first two installments, I talked about um, different tips that I have in my book about living your best life uh, while going through cancer. And today's tip is all about the participating in the patient to patient movement. So what do I mean by that? The patient to patient movement simply means there are so many incredibly smart, science-minded, uh, generous, and supportive patients out there in all of these online networks who are helping to shepherd other patients and navigate them through the process, through the process of finding out treatments, of looking for clinical trials, um, emotional support, all that stuff. But <laughs> We learn a lot about our disease and about our options from our providers, but here's the, here's the kind of the cold hard truth of it. They don't have the time or the resources to make your case the most important case because they have hundreds and they're doing their best to keep up and they're swamped. Um, and also the fire hose of information that is coming out around cancer is just so much right now. So that's where patients, other patients come in. I have learned so much about my disease from other colorectal cancer patients. Um, I don't make any decisions without consulting them. So it's really critical that you find your communities, whatever disease you have, find your communities, reach out, empower yourself. Um, people might say, you don't have the background. You're not able to, you know, you can't understand this stuff. You can't be um, part of your decision-making team. And that's absolute BS. Um, you know, if you're an architect, or if you are building a house and you're working with an architect, you have the skills to be part of that decision making because it's your house. Or if you are having a business dispute and you're working with a lawyer, you have every right to, to be part of that team because it's your business. Same thing with your cancer and the patient to patient movement is probably the top way to get there. Um, I'll see you next week. Let's say hi to Grace one more time. Hey, Gracie. <laughs> All right, guys. Talk to you later. Bye.